Jonathan, 600UK are very well known in this country for the supply of machines like we've got behind us, your Colchester and your Harrison machines. But what people may not know is actually how popular your chucks are and how many of them you sell per year. And, and that's a, a point of focus for this morning, really. So tell us about the range of, of work holding and chucks that you do. Well, Pratt Bernard has been going for about 100 years. So it's been going for a long, long time through from the Halifax site over back to the Hemmerwijk site now. Uh, and we do a full range of, of, of standard three-jaw chucks, four-jaw uh, scroll and, in, and independent chucks, uh, as well as up to the big special chucks that we can manufacture on site. And this here is an example. We've got three-jaw chucks here. And you mentioned that you do a standard chuck and a super precision chuck. What, what's, what's the differences between the two? Well, you have here, you have the, the standard accuracy chuck, um, which is a, a scroll, three-jaw scroll chuck, self-centering. Um, it's manufactured from SG iron, uh, as most of our chucks up to 400 millimetres are, uh, and it's uh, manufactured with a, with a flat scroll internally. So the accuracy of the standard accuracy is still, still good, still to international standards, um, but the longevity isn't, uh, isn't there all the time. Uh, once you then move on to, from your standard accuracy onto your super precision, uh, which is manufactured again out of SG iron, and it's manufactured with a scroll, a beveled scroll. So that's the fundamental difference? That's the fundamental difference in the two chucks, uh, which, which the scroll, the beveled scroll, uh, gives you longevity in the accuracy of the chuck. Okay, now we look at the machine that we've got behind us here. This has got a super yep. precision chuck on it. Yes. Would you supply, when you supply a new machine tool, would you always put a super precision on rather than a standard? Yeah, with all our, our new machines that we do supply, we will supply a super precision chuck uh, as standard. Uh, a lot with the, with the standard machines that we supply, we will also supply a four-jaw chuck as well, a uh, four-jaw independent chuck. Now, what, what, what people might think is a, a, a ch every machine, every lathe needs a chuck. So you sell hundreds of these a yes. year. But what does make your chucks better or different to some others that might be available on the market? Because that's the burning question, really. I mean, we, we have a lot of stock of the product. We have a, a good reputation for, for a number of years where, where the, the quality mm -hmm. and the precision of the chucks is, is maintained regularly. Um, we have, uh, uh, like I say, a good reputation in the market. We've been around for a long time. We have a lot of competition out there, and there's not a lot of difference between the, the, the quality and the accuracy of those chucks as well. But, but we are a UK-based machine to manufacturers which supply UK manufactured chucks. And if you were watching this, you, wouldn't, you, you don't have to sit there thinking, well, actually, I haven't got a Colchester machine or a Harrison machine. I've got another, so I can't buy their chuck. That's not right, is it? No, all our, all our standard chucks uh, are manufactured with a, a recess mount. So um, we right. supply adapters to mount onto the recess that can go on any A-type, D-type spindle nose that, that there is out in their market. So it doesn't have to be a Colchester or Harrison lathe for us to fit our chucks. We can fit it on any, any variation of machine. And that's the same applies to a new machine, a used machine? Exactly. It, it doesn't matter, does it? No, it's, it's, there's no difference. We can still may, uh, mount it onto any particular machine that we, we have out there. Now these, ones, these chucks that we've got here are all kind of an 8-inch chuck size by the look yes. of it. What, what is the maximum diameter you'd go to on a three jaw, and what's the smallest? Well, we, we go down to 170 millimetres uh, on the, the smallest chunk that we do uh, on a three jaw, and we go up to anything up to 1.2 metres. Uh, we can manufacture in house. We have the facility to be able to, to turn the body at 1.2 metres. Anything again above that, we can still look at manufacturing it, but there will maybe a little bit of external work that's required. Um, and so we, we can manufacture from that size of, of 170 millimetres all the way up to 1.2 metres. So whatever the application really, you can satisfy it here at 600 UK? Yes, I mean we have a, a big standard range of, of three jaw chucks that go from the 170 up to the, the four or 500 millimetres as standard products. Anything above that, we can design, manufacture, bigger bore size, bigger jaws, whatever requirements you need. Maybe you want to go for uh, two-piece jaws rather than single-piece jaws. We've got the facility, because we design and manufacture in-house, that we can make it basically, as long as it's physically possible for us to do it, uh, and, and within the realms of what, we, what the chuck can do, we can manufacture it. And when you buy one of these, what do they come with, Jonathan, when it comes to the jaws and the accessories? Yep. With the standard chucks, we, we supply 
obviously a key with the, with the uh, chuck. Uh, the, the standard and super precision chucks come with inside and outside jaws, so it's dependent on how you grip your, your component. Uh, that's standard that they come with inside and outside jaws. Uh, on uh, the, the on set the right chucks, we also they come as two piece jaws, which, which basically is a combination of inside and outside jaws. Okay, tell me about the set right and the grip true. Right, the set right and the grip true chucks uh, are based around the super precision chuck with a beveled scroll to give us longevity of the accuracy. But on the set right chuck, we have uh, an way of, of adjusting the uh, chuck to the spindle to again give us even increased accuracy on the on the component. Um, the set right is adjusted uh, with some scrub screws around the sides um, so you, you put the chuck on and then you adjust it to to the spindle with the clocking up the body of the of the chuck that is used mainly in lathe applications turning applications why are you going to need that to, to, to give you more to give you a little bit more accuracy with regards to the, the the spindle on the machine if you need that extra accuracy on the on the component that you're machining uh, so that is used uh, mainly on the uh, on the lathe application with the turning the grip true is a is again is the same as a super precision chuck in the with the bevel scroll, scroll. Um, but we are we have a different type of adjustment which which gives you more accuracy now that is mainly used in uh, grinding applications so it wouldn't necessarily be used on a, on a lathe you can use it on a lathe because it will still give you the same kind of accuracy but you can use it more on in uh, grinding applications and it's adjusted and it gives you finer finer adjustments so you would more than likely with the grip through you would put the component in and you would clock the component up rather than just the chuck sounds like you you cover all bases when it comes to chucks we try as best yes great insight thanks for no problem